previously on General Hospital. Seeing you with Lucky, I couldn't stand it. Helena's gone, the tape is gone, we're home free. If Carly's gone, Michael's feelings for Sonny are all he has. Maybe it's just a mother's intuition. Carly is alive. Sandra said it was about me, and he was right. I killed her. Is it really okay to be that hopeful? Absolutely. We destroyed the tape. What if... whoever Helena ordered to send the tape, what if they kept a copy? I mean, Helena still has the power to blow yours truly out of the water. Okay, listen to me. I realize that it's dangerous for anyone to try and predict Helena. But if anyone comes close, it's me. You know, sending that tape was her way of saying that the debt was canceled. And with Courtney willing to put the accident in the past, we're home free. God, I hope you're right. I just, I just want this nightmare over. It is over. Helena's gone. The tape is gone. You know, nothing's, nothing can stop us now from moving on with our lives. Isn't that good? <laughs> I didn't know that the evidence I found would incriminate your sister. This isn't what I sent you in a cover to get. You're supposed to. You're supposed to be pretending to be some jet setting slacker. Staying at Windermere getting information on Nicholas. That is the video that fell into my lap. Okay? Gia aiding and abetting an escaped felon. The only question now is what are you going to do about it? It's not crazy, is it? I mean, here we are. Despite our best intentions, locked together in a dark room. It can't, this can't happen, Lucky. Not now, not ever. Not ever? Never is a long time. Yeah, well, it's as long as Elizabeth is going to be my sister. I won't hurt her like this. It's too... It's too selfish. Selfish? Haven't you ever been selfish before, Sarah? Not even once. Truthfully? Yeah. I try not to be. Especially when the stakes are this high. And besides, it's just, it's just physical between us, right? It's like an insect bite. If we resist the urge to scratch it, then it'll eventually go away. You don't believe that any more than I do. This isn't some sort of chemical reaction, Sarah. So much more. Hi. 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 Has there been any word from Sonny? Or Jax? Um, nothing. Have you been listening to the news? I heard the latest, yeah. It's, uh, it's not who they think. We're running tests to prove it. Is Mommy back? No, honey, not yet. Uh, honey, is, no, your mom is not here yet. But uh, do you remember what I told you? What I told you. Mommy loves me very much. 
That's right. And she's thinking about you every single minute. I miss her. Oh, honey, I know you do. I do, too. Hey, Michael, I have a good idea. Why don't we go upstairs and read those new books I got you? Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Michael loves to have stories read to him. Good, come on. on the phones. A certain slimy element of the media has caught wind of this. The body they found isn't Carly. I hope not. Mac called. He's put a rush on the DNA test. They expect results, preliminary results at least, within the hour. Fanny, hi, Alexis. <clears throat> Is any, have you talked to him at all? Well, will you uh, ask him to call me when he gets in? Thanks. Oh. Oh. Uh, what are you doing home? I thought that you were busy today. Well, I wanted to make sure that you were all right. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Um, Alexis, was Barker versus Hayes upheld by the Supreme Court? Yes. Uh, what? Yeah, yes. Why? Yeah. Well, I just wanted to establish that you're still capable of telling me the truth. What do you want from me? I want you to stop keeping everything inside. Fine is not always an appropriate response to everything. Okay, I was a little embarrassed when I walked in on you and Ned, but give me a minute, I'm very adaptable. You didn't happen to see Sunny on the elevator when you came up, did you? Wait, so you really are fine. That's what I said. Oh, that must mean that that wasn't Carly. Carly? The body that they pulled out, out from the lake. What? Oh, you didn't know. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, my God. You know what I want? Name it. One weekend, just the two of us. You ask so much of me. Well, think about it. I mean, between your father and the accident and Lucky and Elizabeth moving in and then out and, and Elena. And, and now these new people you've asked to stay here. When was the last time we had time for just us? You remember when we used to make love any time we wanted? <laughs> Anywhere we wanted. Okay, you drive a hard bargain. So, this once, I will let you twist my arm. Okay. Where would you like to go? Some place private and outrageously expensive. Well. Yeah. You know, on second thought, maybe we should hold off. Why? Well, because of Carly. I mean, I know the Spencers don't want help from either one of us right now, but after this 
situation is resolved, you know, Laura and Bobby might need something that only you can do for them. Maybe we should just stick around. Okay. You're right. Good of you to think of that, though. I just feel so bad for Bobby. I mean, she has been through so much in her life, and she's always so cheerful and approachable and so brave. I just wish that there was something that we could do for her. I think I've got just a thing. Come on. I'll get your purse. Okay. I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm going to sit on it. Marcus. For now, I'm going to sit on it. And your reasoning? I don't want to tip Nicholas off. He's the one we're after. Let's not forget that. You don't get to pick and choose evidence. This video of your sister is admissible. My sister did not mastermind a plan to help Elena Cassadine escape. The little prince did that. We have your sister dead to rights here. She's on no. the tape. She's saying that no. she will help Helena any way that she Tapes can. Tapes can be doctored. What are you suggesting? Nicholas could have manufactured that with Helena. He, he could have done that himself to keep my sister alive. Maybe your sister has also been invaded by aliens. These are sick, rich people with an unbelievable sense of entitlement and way too much time on their hands now. This is exactly the kind of stuff the Cassadines get off on you. you. Trust me. It's funny you should mention that word. I'm not so sure I can trust you. I think it would be best if I hung on to the tape. Okay. I think... Everyone we know has dropped off a plate of food. And I've always wondered about that, because just when you feel the least like eating... You know, there is an exception to every rule. I mean, take Carly, for instance. Carly loves chocolate. Carly could eat sweets any time, no matter what's going on. I don't know what to say to that, Barbara. <sighs> well, then, don't say anything. You don't have to. I know what you're thinking. You are trying to prepare me for the results of the DNA test to identify Carly. It's not going to happen. Because she's not dead. She's coming back, Luke. I know it. I feel it in my heart. And I'm a little surprised at you. Because you know firsthand how important it is to never give up hope. Oh, hell. Here we go again. Damn reporters. Mm. It could be the MA's office. Here, let me get it. Yeah? Look, I told you before, we have no comment. Now, will you please spread the word among your rabid, fork-toothed little colleagues and don't call again? And I don't know what's worse. Reporters are serial killers. Luke, come over here. What? Look. Ah, they're everywhere. How many news trucks is that? Four? Five. There's one around the corner. They must have heard about the DNA tests. They want Carly dead. Because it makes a better story. for another wild night. Have to be. Business has been crazy around here. Carly's dead body being pulled from the lake. It's gonna be the best thing that's ever happened to this place. more prints of Gia, and Maxie should be showing up here with the key, and we'll be out of here in no time. Good. Well, um, in the meantime, I might as well make myself useful. Well, what do you want me to do to help? Um, actually, hand me a clean one of those little barns there. Probably 
they shouldn't ask. Um, but what did you mean earlier about us being more? Well... <laughs> There's no denying that we're attracted to each other. And this is a convenient because of Elizabeth. That's why you want to toss it off as if it was something unimportant. You and I are already beyond that. And if you let it play out, I think... I think we could have something that would be really unbelievable. Something even more than we could have imagined. Lucky, it's way too soon to know that. Hey, there's no time limit on feelings. Feelings just don't start in three months or six weeks or two days. My feelings for you started a long time ago. That was high school. Lucky, you went, we were kids. It was just a high school crush. There you go, minimizing again. You know what? I'm gonna give you the straight up truth. Now, I'm not wanting some sort of like one night thing with you. I'm not looking for a way to get through this. I want you. I want you in my life. We made a deal, Lucky. We said that if one of us started, you know, having these feelings, then the other one would remind us both that we have to be strong about this. Yeah, I remember. So which one of us is it going to be? Hey, Bobby, I'm going to take this up to Michael. Thank you. Hey, Barbara, I don't know what's made me think of this, but do you remember that crummy, broken-down little carnival you used to drag me off to every summer? Thank you. Well, I beg to differ over who dragged whom. As I recall, you were the one who couldn't wait to get there. <laughs> what was the name of that girl you were head over heels for? Oh, Fiona the Sword Swallower. She was good. She was scary. Oh, you never understood the finer points of her appeal. Oh, I understood plenty. There was nothing she couldn't do. What about that uh, muscle-bound spud you were all wrapped up with? What was his name? <laughs> Enrique. <laughs> the strongest boy on seven continents. And the dimmest. Oh, you always were way too hard on my little crushes. That's only because they were never worthy of you. And that's still true, by the way. Waiting's really getting me. I know, darling, I know. <sighs> oh, I just feel so fortunate, Luke. I really am lucky. All those years ago when we were kids. I had you. You always had a big brother who was willing to lay his life on the line for me. Carly doesn't have anybody. She's out there all alone. She could be hurt, or hungry, or lost. Sweetheart, Carly's a survivor. She thinks on her feet as well as anybody I know. If she's out there, she'll find a way to get by. Well, at least the phone isn't ringing. It was a brilliant idea to have those calls forwarded to Laura. She was happy to pick up the slack. Everybody knows you're running on empty, Bobby. Except you. I'll sleep when Carly gets back. She came from the medical examiner's office. Got some news. Yeah, I'm fine. Alexis, I swear you say that one more time. I'm okay, screaming. okay, I'm not fine. You're right. You're worried about Sonny. Of course I'm worried about him. I'm worried about the impact that this is going to have on him. Well, that, that is just wonderful. And where do you fit into this equation, huh? How is, is all this going to affect you? Who's going to be worried about you? I am. I'm worried about you, Alexis. This is so not about me. 
Of course, it's about you. Something huge is affecting a man that you were starting to get involved oh, with. And you have no idea how with. inappropriate this conversation is right now if that body is Carly's. If she is truly dead, then there's a little boy who just lost his mother, and Sonny just lost a woman that he loves. And this is a horrible, horrible situation. And, and, and I need to just sit for five minutes, and then I'll decide how that affects me. you'd assume I wasn't. I just asked. Because you think my husband is out to hurt me. It's the exact reason why I almost walked away the minute I saw you. But you didn't. I heard about Carly. I, I just I wanted to see if you were okay. It's okay as possible under the circumstances. Tony, wait, wait. Why don't you call Sonny? You know, offer him your help. Maybe doing something would make you feel better. I don't know what to do. He and Carly had a very profound connection, and I may not have understood that connection, but they had it nonetheless, and now it's been ripped away from him. Alexis, Sonny cares about you. I don't want to talk you. about it anymore. And I don't want to think about it. I wish to God that I had never met him. I wish to God that Carly were sitting across the hall with him. And I'm sure that he wishes that, too. Look, I'm sorry that, that, that Carly passed away. I agree with you that it's a tragedy. But, Alexis, it's not your fault. And you shouldn't feel wrong or guilty about caring for Sonny. I can't help the way that I feel. And I don't know what to do. Well, how do you feel? How do you feel? <laughs> sorry. I'm just so incredibly sorry. Something came up at the lab in emergency, so the DNA results are going to be delayed. Hmm. Well, that is just great, Baldwin. Look, it wasn't my fault, Spencer. No, I'm saying it's just swell of you to dash over here with that news flash when you know how frantic she's been. I mean, thank God you didn't just wait till you had some real news. And hey, you could you stop? Stop it, both of you, all right? I don't know what's worse. When you're going at each other's throats or you're pretending to like each other for my sake. But could we try option two just for a few minutes? I'll do you one better. I'm going to go over there myself and I won't come back until there's real news. Call me as soon as you hear anything. Come here. I love you. I love you. As soon as I know anything, you'll know. Ball one. Listen. I know, I had 30 seconds here. I've upset you. I'm not upset. Hey, don't pay any attention to Luke, okay? I um, might never do. Come on, let's sit down for a second, all right? Are you okay? Have you been eating? Eating? Yeah. Yeah, I've been eating. Sure, because uh, otherwise I'll, I'll whip you up some chicken noodle soup or something. No, thanks. Are you thirsty? You want... Some water yeah. you want. Thank you. Anything. Thank you. I don't want anything. Well, I'm here to be at your service. Just sit with me, okay? Yeah. Oh, Scott. I so want this to be over. I want my daughter back. I want all these people out of my house. I love my friends. But if I have to see one more 
sympathetic look, or one more exchanged glance, or I've got to smile and take one more casserole. God. <laughs> I hate casserole. <laughs> Do you realize, Marcus, we have known each other since my first day in the police academy. You know I couldn't stand you. You're in a walk in the park yourself. Stubborn. Borderline insolent. No, I was a stubborn, stupid rookie who had more guts than sense, but you straightened me out. You were hard on me, and I resented you for it, but in the long run, I realized you did me a favor. Is that... Is, is that what you think this is? What? Quid pro quo? Turn a blind eye to your mentor? Wipe the slate clean, huh? Take it. What? You tell Mac that you, you, you think I'm involved in something that I'm not professional enough to deal with. Keep it. I know how much you love your sister. And I know what a good brother you are. The point here is I'm a good cop. you think you are? You worked for Carly. You didn't even know her. You don't even have the right to say her name. Hey, I don't know what your problem is, buddy, but you need to take it out of my face. I got a better idea. Why don't we take it outside? Sander, what's going on? Nothing that concerns you, Nicholas. Actually, that's not quite true. G and I came here to check on the club for Carly's mother. Now, I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling Bobby that you're tearing up the place now, would you? <laughs> you guys, uh, get back to work, all right? What's going on, Sander? Just, uh, okay, I can imagine. We heard on the way over. You heard what? I think you better tell me. They, uh... They found a body, Sandra. Well, maybe Elizabeth's picture is fate, too. Reminding us of her, telling us that we are wrong to... Want each other? I don't want to feel this way, Sarah. I don't, but I can't help myself. And that picture is not fake. Maxie filed a negative in the wrong folder. She's helping me with some school project. She knows nothing about photography. I actually took that picture of Elizabeth for Audrey for Mother's Day. I guess that was before Lizzie realized we'd been kissing. It sure was. Elizabeth wouldn't even want me to take a picture of her now. In fact, she doesn't even want me in the same room with her. I know, and that is exactly why we have to fight this feeling between us. You want to hear the words, Lucky? Yeah. Okay, fine. Yes, I want to be with you. But being with you is going to cost me my sister. And that's too high a price. You know, believe it or not, I understand. Elizabeth's already been hurt. And if you lose her, you're gonna be hurting too. Lucky, I got the keys. The janitor was on lunch break, so Elton had to find his assistant. He was in the boiler room. Uh, Lucky? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, Maxie. Just open the door. Sarah, what are you doing here? She stopped by, and I'm glad. Thank you. Sure. What's that about? company while you're trapped in here. 
Well, you've known Sarah a long time, right? Yeah, since I was about your age. Uh, I can't believe I messed up that lock. And yeah, don't sweat it. Actually, accidents happen, you know. Yeah. Well, oh, wait, watch out! Oh, my God. Uh, am I a crook or what? I've got to be about the worst assistant ever. Dropping your stuff, blocking the dark room. No wonder you're trying to get out of here as fast as you can. My day's kind of behind. I got a lot of things in my mind, and I got to be somewhere. You're probably meant to be on the checklist. All the other kids who would die to be your assistant. Look, are... they found out. They found a body over at the crash site. They're looking for a positive ID. I need to get over my aunt Bobby's house. All right, uh, Maxie. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to unload that on you without any warning. It's not like we weren't all waiting for this. Hey, no, Maxie, I, I really am sorry for being so insensitive. I've just got, oh boy, a lot of things in my mind right now. Can you forgive me? Am I fired? <sighs> no way. Of course not. Then it's all good. What to say in situations like these. <laughs> You're kidding, right? No. Don't you remember when we were growing up and someone would die or end up in the hospital? You always knew the exact right thing to say or do to make that person feel better. Well, I just stood there paralyzed and the mom and dad would end up yelling at me for being sullen. <laughs> That's funny. That's not the way I remember it. Imagine how Bobby is getting through this right now. But you know, she's right. Until the DNA results are in, there's a chance it, it wasn't Carly. And you never know whether to remind her of that or not, right? Right. I don't know what I should be doing, period. But well, Lizzie, you're here. That's enough. You know? Yeah. I mean, when my husband died, I didn't, I didn't have anybody to sit with me. And to be there and listen and just not say anything. I wish I had reached out to you, Sarah. And I wish I had been there for you the last couple of years. We both missed a lot. But hey, you know, maybe we can just reach out to Bobby and give her the help and support we couldn't give each other. Yeah, I'd like that. You got. I'm sorry. There's no details. We caught the tail end of the newscast. All we heard, man, was that there was um, a body. That's it. You know, I thought I had stopped hoping. I thought I'd convinced myself that Carly was gone. That there was no chance that she was coming back. And it was crazy to think otherwise. When you said that they found a body, it's like any hope that was left was all gone. Hope I didn't even know it was there. Carly's not coming back to that door again. I'm never gonna see her again. I need to get back to my husband. Okay. I just, I just want you to know that it, it means a lot to me that you stopped by and asked how it was. I mean. Despite everything, you know? Well, you're still my brother. I'm glad to hear that. And, uh, it's, it's a terrible thing about Carly. My heart breaks for you. But that doesn't change the differences between us. So, uh, don't read more into this than I mean. Do you regret sleeping with Sunny? I'm fumbling my way here. Christina, I don't have a context for any of this. I don't have a context for him. All I can do is honor his relationship with Carly and try to help him in, in any way that I can, and that may mean leaving him alone. So you're backing away from Sunny? Mm -hmm. If he needs me to, yes.
damn line's busy. It's the medical examiner's office. Who the hell are they talking to? It hasn't been as long as it seems. All right, I'll, I'll try again. No, forget it. Xander, wait a second. Xander, where are you going? with Michael. I'll go get her. Uh, don't say anything to upset the kid. No, I won't. I thought I heard somebody say, yeah. Luke? Alexis, I don't feel like I was very much help to you. I'm beyond help. But I love you for trying. Will you yell if you need me? I will. Promise. I promise. Stay tuned for scenes from the next General Hospital. On the next General Hospital. I tried to talk to her about a funeral, and she ignored me. She's only hearing what she wants to hear. I want to close the club. Yes, no, you can't do that. Why is she gone, Mike? Why is she gone? How did we get here? Don't want to wait until the weekend to see all of this week's General Hospital episodes? Catch the daytime episode at night, every weeknight at 7 and 10. Log on to SoapNet.com for your complete schedule. SoapNet. Soap watching made easy. SoapNet brings you more General Hospital with a replay of the marathon tonight at 7 p.m. See all five of this week's episodes only on SoapNet.